Will you see a better volley than that? I don't think so. Wendell with a thunderbolt from outside the box. Hello everyone and welcome to episode number three of the FM versus Showdown. In the last one, we managed to draw level. Just in case there's any spoilers there. Managed to draw level. We defeated Lubo with Villarreal versus Sevilla. Now we have episode number three. Something slightly different as well, but that'll be explained at the start of the video. Let's get into it. Hey Ross, how do you feel about winning last encounter? It's nice to get off the mark. I didn't want to be the whipping boy in this. And after our first game uh, with Liverpool versus Man United, yeah, I'm happy that I've got a little bit of revenge. I said I was going to get it. And uh, I, I delivered on that promise. So I'm quite happy. What about yourself? It was uh, disappointing, I, I must say. Very disappointing. I don't, I'm not going to say that you had a little bit of revenge. It was like the smashing of a lifetime. <laughs> Yeah, 5-1 in aggregate, it was a uh, flattered us definitely after the first leg, but we we just took our chances and yeah, I think your players let you down. How about today? Uh, do you want to share with our viewers what are we changing for today's game? Well, we have got a change today. Uh, we are still going to use the spinning wheel for FM versus Showdown to choose our teams. We've now removed uh, Liverpool, Man United, Sevilla and Villarreal from the, from the list. However, we have a second spinning wheel which is going to tell us not what formation or how many defenders we're going to pick, it's going to show us what roles that we have to select. So myself and Lubo will be spinning the wheel three times and those three roles we have to put into our formation. We can pick the formation how we want it, but we have to ensure that we have these roles. I feel it's going to be really fun. Okay, so let's spin the wheel. I'm going to start this time. Spinning the wheel, who am I going to play with? It is going to be Atletico Madrid. We are back in Spain. Okay. Let's see what we've got. I've... We can't have another Spanish team, surely. Surely we can't. Porto is pretty much the Spanish team. FC Porto. I'm, I wanted them in the first game, so I'm quite happy to have them in this one now. So, uh, Do you want to pick your, your three roles first? or? Yeah, let's get on with it. First role I have to have in my team is a stopper. Then the next one is going to be a regista. Okay. Third one. Halfback. Okay, so I have my defensive midfielders and my defend defense already set up for me. <laughs> so, there you go. Oh, how do you feel about spinning the wheel? Let's have a go then. So, and then Gaunch. Nice. I can work with that. Will I get three attacking plays? A poacher, mate. It's attack versus defense here. And lastly, oh, a defender on cover. Okay. So we've got eight minutes on the clock. We need to have an enganch, a poacher, and a defender on cover as well. Let's get used to how the, how the squad looks before we kind of create our tactic as well. So with the squad, there's actually a lot of play. Oh, this is annoying. How many players do they want to have in their first team? You know, let's do it in the tactic screen because that's a little bit confusing. So we're going to create our own style of tactic. You know what, we're going to go with Gengen Press again. Quite liked the way that we uh, kind of dominated the game there. It's recommending a 4 2 4, which won't work because we need an Unganch and a Poacher. So we're going to go with this a standard 4 2 3 1 with an attacking midfielder on wide. So, centre defender, we're allowed anyone on a cover. So, I mean, ball playing defender on cover. No, we'll do no nonsense centre back on cover. Straight away, we'll get the Unganch in there on support. And then up front, we will have a poacher just to start off with this. And we've already used a minute. Fantastic. I mean, we've got a big bad boy Pepe in there, haven't we? And for some reason, my skin isn't loading. But, you know, we'll we'll throw Pepe in there as a no-nonsense centre-back. Maybe as a... As a uh, definitely not as a wing-back. Ivan Meccano probably is our best bet. But again, he's quite old. They've actually got quite a... Uh, Quite an aging squad here. I didn't expect it to be this bad, if I'm honest. But we will put Otavio in there with Pepe. I mean, at least we've got our, our formation kind of set out. This is what I do want to go with. I mean, Taremi, can you play as a poacher? He's a free star poacher. But we will put him in as we are. Although, who's Pepe here? 
I mean, do we rather have him as an inside forward up here? I think we should. I should have should have actually looked at the squad before we, uh, we went forward. There's so many 16-year-olds in this team. It's absolutely ridiculous. But Jean Mario finally found a right back. Let's go in. This is probably painful to watch, so I do apologise for that. But, you know, Wendell in at left back. I think we've got our goalkeeper and our defensive positions all sorted out so far. Danny Namasso. I think you are the guy. 23-year-old English. We could put him potentially in as the Anganch. I mean, how do you play there? 13s, 13s, 14s, 11s, 15s. He wouldn't be a bad shout, to be honest, to go into there. But we are going to put him just as the left inside forward. Evan Ilsen. I mean, you're not bad. Maybe we'll put Evan Ilsen as the left inside forward. And then we'll play Namasso as the Anganch. Marco Gruish, very good player. Well aware of him. Alan Valera as well. Okay, so these could be our two kind of defensive midfielders here who are very happy with this. Positive mentality. We'll keep that going. Do you want to focus down the wings? Maybe we will. Play of the defence? Don't really want to. Do Maybe we'll start out of there. There was a bit of a disconnect in the last episode that we did do. So not floated. Low crosses in there. We'll play fairly wide as well with our players coming on the inside. In the transition, counter and counter, because why not? We'll distribute to the fullbacks on this one. And then out of possession, drop it down. High line press, we'll keep that. Step up more. I'm not a big fan of that, so we will get rid of this as well. And I think this is kind of what we're going to have to go with. I think for the second leg, we may have to kind of change things around a little bit. But for now, I think we're done. Yeah. Are we ready to go? Ready to go, mate. Ready to go. But yeah, I would just say, like, the fact that my whole under-18 squad was in there has made it very difficult. But, you know, it's all a bit of fun, isn't it? Oh, that's very asymmetrical. I like that. The only thing that I'm kind of annoyed about is that I have so many good players that are not on the pitch. Oh, brag. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> all right, let's go. First leg. Are you happy with your, uh, your team selection, Lubo? I'm happy with the players that I have. I'm not happy with the fact that there are so many good players on the bench, like Su and some of the other midfielders. Yeah. I have World Cup winners there that are watching <laughs> it from the stands right now, so not really fair to them. Mario on the right-hand side. Is it an early chance? Evan Olsen's in the middle and all, all black. I forgot you've got all black. It's going to be difficult to yeah, break I down this team. Probably the best goalkeeper in game. Although I've got Diogo Costa, so... Uh... We'll see how we get on. Wendell with the free kick on the left-hand side. Can we... He's gone for it. I think... Is that the crossbar? That's a good save by our black, actually. Tipped it just over the bar from the free kick. Five minutes in. Third highlight for you. Well, I scored after five minutes last time. Evan else Is that a penalty? What's... What's... What? What? Oh, my God. Why has he just Oof. jumped over that? It's not hurdling. Disgraceful. Who was that? Evan Olsen. Well, you're on... You're on borrowed time already. How did you find trying to fit in uh, a regista and a half? Was it halfback as well you had? Yeah, it was a halfback. I think the most annoying one was the... Ah, yeah, maybe the the stopper. Because mm -hmm. I know that one of my defenders is going to be drifting forward and I had to provide cover for him. Although the halfback arguably is a cover for a, a defender who's going to be bombarding forward. Yeah. yeah. How about the enganch? You know what? It, it was fine. Um, because I've been playing around with uh, an Enganch. Go on, Evan Olsen. Oh, off the crossbar. Uh, but yeah, with the Enganch, um, I've got a. Uh, I've, well, now I would have actually uploaded the video uh, of a tactic that I've done that includes an Enganch in it, as well as Roim Deuters. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go on in the second leg. You, you know, you can take Diego Simeone away from the team, but you can't take <laughs> Simeone out of the team. Teremi, the poacher being on the left wing, not where you're expecting, but Evan Olsen, back to Teremi. Another highlight that nothing was going to happen. Love that. Oh, come on. It's the corner. Corners everywhere. Go on, Teremi, hit that. It's blocked again. We'll have another corner. How many have we had so far? You haven't scored one. I know. Why aren't they learning from this? Mario. Back to Teremi. Hit the shot. No, Evan Olsen. Nah, this one's gone on you. Yes! Congrats, Finally. well done. Finally, commentator's curse. You just said we haven't scored one yet. And Evan Olsen, too much time in the box. Underneath our black. 
this the Slovenian wall has been battered down. You're absolutely destroying us in this first half. My god, I didn't expect this, honestly. Neither did I, if I'm being honest. So, in game now, the Anganch hasn't done a lot, if we're being honest. I mean, Taremi's done quite well. Pepe, we're going to move him onto a winger on attack. To be fair, with Mario here, I might just drop Wendell down. It's more of a supportive role. Yeah, we don't want to get kind of overdone with that. I mean, Mario is joining Pepe on the right-hand side, which is nice to see. In our possession, we are looking to focus down both flanks. Maybe we'll just focus down the right-hand side again, just like we did in the last game. But the Enganch is coming slightly over to Pepe. Pepe is going to be running up there. So the Enganch, can we give him an instruction to kind of get further forward? Yes, we can. Maybe we'll stick it as that. And uh, we'll see kind of how we do push on in this second leg. Feels like I'm just uh, blindly moving people around. That's what football manager is all about, isn't it, Lubo? Like just, <laughs> just giving it a go and see what you can do. I think definitely having the... Um, the element of playing each other it's, it's opening my eyes to football manager a little bit which, which is nice like yeah it's, it's it's a good it's a good battle of the minds this is yeah definitely playing versus someone else is super interesting okay. all the viewers out there do it find a friend and play against them you've been terrible so far is what i'm telling the players yeah did you throw a brick or a, a uh, water no. bottle <laughs> I decided not to. It would have been too harsh on them. I'm taking the blame for us uh, not looking good in the first half. Yeah. Well, straight away, highlight in my half. So whatever you've done, clearly has made a difference. Reynaldo, back to Hermoso. Rodrigo de Paul. A lot of space there. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Keep going. Post, living a charmed life there. Back post, to the, that's a penalty. Oh, another set piece. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. I'm right, going to get it. You've got to score it first. It is a penalty. Oh. Miss, 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 miss. <laughs> Rodrigo de Paul, really? Oh, Costa got a hand to it. In. I mean, Atletico Madrid have had a rocket shoved up them at half time by the looks of it. Through which <clears throat> we're allowed to Pepe. And a meaningless highlight. Another meaningless highlight. <laughs> okay. Koki. Finds Memphis in the box. Koki again. The register. Our wing back with a stupid shot. He shouldn't be shooting, I think. It's a weird half, is it? You know, I don't think I've had a shot on target this half. Or even a shot. Because my stats don't seem to be ticking up for the uh, shooting anyway. My initial setup was too defensive, I think. Yeah. And the moment we started, like, playing a bit more front foot football, mm -hmm. we are dominating now. Look at the halfback. Look at where he is. Yeah, Witzel. Witzel. Yeah. Molina down the right hand side. Oh, nearly an own goal. Costa. <laughs> it would have counted as an open <clears throat> open play goal, but it would have been an own goal, so. Doesn't count for you. But yeah, you are making your home dominance here as Griezmann into the box. Lovely block. I'm surprised that wasn't given as a penalty. Taremi. We're too exposed. It's just five versus two. Oh. Wendell! Wow. Wendell! What a goal! What an absolute what thunderbolt. Oh my god, I hate this. It's a fantastic strike. I mean, Taremi, our poacher, being on the byline where you don't expect him. Reynaldo, poor clearance, but will you see a better volley than that? I don't think so. Wendell with a thunderbolt from outside the box. Galano heads it clear. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Oh, that penalty. No, nope, it's not. Oh my God. Oh, the ref pointed then. 
We created more XG again, but you definitely overwhelmed us with a lot of shots, and I'm really, really not happy. We paid too much respect to your team in the first half, I think, and it cost us a lot. Yeah, we dominated the first half by the looks of this. But, uh, yeah, I think we, again, just like in the last episode, a, a late a late goal did it. Conceding from corners is kind of annoying. <laughs> Well, welcome to episode one, Lubo. But this time you're Ross. <laughs> <laughs> we are at home for this leg, so can we uh, can we bring home the bacon? Here we go. I really hope for an early goal here. Same, but for Porto. I mean, that's a lovely switch of play. Out onto the left-hand side. Big save. Should have been, could have been. Corner routine to cover the short... Uh, the short Memphis! Oh my good lord. The strike! Hit the bar, it's still shaking. <laughs> Just like Costa. Costa's shaking as well. Don't want to face that power again. Okay, I like this. That post. Quite a lot of traffic. And Griezmann with the header! One new up. You've brought it back in this game over the two legs. An open play goal! Finally! I oh, know. Are you feeling In our okay? sixth half of football. <laughs> I mean, it's poor from my right back there, Mario. But well done, sir. Nicely, uh, nicely scored. I mean, Varela, you could have. Oh what my God! He's going. Oh on. my, Torini, don't mess up. Don't. What are you? What are you running like this for? What the hell? What's is happening? This? What was that? That was absolutely <laughs> terrible. I have no idea what happened right there. Terrain, you might be coming off. Worst that miss ever. What? I don't know why he's passed that. I don't know why he's done that. Oh, that was that was disgraceful. He wasn't running straight. He was like drifting left, right, and center before. He was deciding to pass. He had it. a drink, I think. <laughs> running drunk. Right, Namasa, you're coming off because of that. Right outside the box. Rodrigo with the ball. Oof. Oh. That block that was deflected away. Yeah, off the wall. Oh, it's gonna be a short corner. Be scared. Be scared. It's a set piece. My God, I'm scared now. <laughs> I mean, you've got one man left back. Molina, to be fair, is a good player to have at the back. Mario, good bit of running there. That was wow. not good. We got away with that one then. Tarimi, I'm so disappointed in you. I've realised I've made three subs and it's not even half time yet. So it makes it a little bit more interesting in how you do set up your uh, your formations because if I had another five and five defenders and three strikers, yeah, I'd, I'd probably pull my hair out. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I like this uh, way better as well. Memphis, ah, he was offside. Is he offside? I think the refs put his hand yeah, up. Yeah, he is. <clears throat> Definitely was. Well, we'll find out. VAR has disallowed it. Another injury. Yeah, even... oh. oh, sorry. You dirty players. Well, we are Atletico Madrid. Don't forget that. Yep, I said. Simeone's in the fight here. Right, I have somehow made all five substitutions. So I really hope we don't get penalised here. But Molina... I mean, it was a nice what chance. What is that? I think the next goal is going to win the game, in all honesty. Yeah. I feel so as well. I mean, if you could stop injuring my players, that'd be fantastic. But, you know, win by any means necessary. Molina, back to Jimenez, into Koke. Griezmann's found a little pocket of space there. Back to Jimenez. I mean, good, mm. good press here. But if you could break yeah, it, then... as well. Wow, it got back to Oblak. It's all gone quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo down the left. I mean, he's gone on a very, very long run. Is that another penalty? Dude. <laughs> oh, mate. Sorry for laughing. Is it? I don't see how that is a penalty. 
Oh wow. Oh wow. I'm lost for words. Oh Costa! Oh, wow. What a save! What a save. Wow. It would wow, have been undeserved. Wow. Would have been undeserved. Although there is still the corner to deal with. And we survive there. What a massive save by Diego Costa that was. And oh, you injured Memphis Depay. Oh, there we go. Bit of payback. You missed the penalty. Correa. Good ball for Griezmann. Griezmann. Big wow. save by Costa. Weird way to turn his ball and shoot, but... Yeah. Like a pretzel. <laughs> like a pretzel. Beautiful. Oh, no. Wendell. Come on, you scored that Thunderbolt in the first leg. What have we got Don't from me here? Me. Don't do this to me. Rubich. One of yours. Scram. Oh, it could be for you. No, it's not. <gasps> wow. <gasps> it could be. <laughs> Another oh, one. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Stop it. Gallardo. Tony Stop Martinez. It. <gasps> Pass it out wide. Play it out wide. Gallardo, what have we You're got? You're giving me a hard tag here. Gallardo, what are you doing? Oh, what a waste. What a waste. Nick Williams. Is it Nick Williams? Uh, no. Nico Gonzalez. Yeah, Nick Williams is in Spain. Why are they celebrating? Extra time kickoff. I don't know why. My uh, my my bench was really excited for some reason. Back to Wendell. Nice little one too. Gruwich, back to Wendell. At least a bit of sustained pressure in your half here. Although he has lost it. Gonzalez, Tarimi, from off the bar. Is that the end of the highlight? Sanchez down the right hand side. Please tell me it ends here. Vincent Sal. Martinez. No! Oh, it's offside. Oh he was offside. I have to make a sub, mate. <laughs> I have to make a sub. Heart in your mouth moment there. Time. I'm going to have a hard fuck. I can't make a substitution. What? You don't deserve. <laughs> you, get an extra, <laughs> you get an extra sub in extra time. No, you don't. You do. It's in the rules. If you play Porto, you don't. Oh, no. And we got a uh, Pepe from my side, so a combined age of 100. Speaking of the man... Did you see the animation of the net then? I thought <laughs> that had... I thought you'd done it. I com a combined of 38 shots with seven on target. <laughs> it's a game for the neutrals. Right. Into extra time now. Are we going to go to penalties? Are we going to go all the way? Well, if we do, I think you're guaranteed to win because you only score set pieces, don't you? But we also missed a penalty, so... You did. Well, there is that. I've never missed a penalty in the Showdown series so far because I've never taken one. It looks like Can't we're going we? to penalties. Oh... oh. I hate this. Only goalkeepers can take penalties. That's what uh, what they say. I only picked five players because I'm absolutely confident we're winning this one. Yeah. Wow. Good luck, sir. It's the first one that we've had to do so far. Good luck to you too. But not too much. Yeah, exactly. Right. Kendrick Lamar. Against Costa. Fantastic penalty. By the way, great goalkeepers on both sides. Definitely. Yeah. Mediterranean. Oh. Obok with the save. <clears throat> He's been so disappointing, Teremi has, throughout these two legs. Axel, Axel Witzel, 18 composure. Off the post! <laughs> Had the composure, but not the accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> composure is not enough. Galano on for the injured Pepe, who is in the hospital, and he does send his wishes to the team. Oh, box to save oh. the second one! The captain. I, I, I have no idea whether he's a captain, but he's the captain in my head. <laughs> this is the worst penalty shootout <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> one penalty scored out of five. Oh, Pepe, I'll put you in as a meme. Don't let me down. Veteran. 
Pepe. Go on, Pepe. It's level. Saul. Better call Saul. Big Whoa! save. Big save by Costa. Big save. Tony Martinez. I think it's against his former team. Can he put us ahead? He can. He Go on. Go on. It's all down to this. Oblak gates everything he's seen so far. That's why he steps up. Oh, did you actually put Oblak on to take the fifth penalty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You was that confident he was going to win the penalty shootout? Come on, Costa. I was confident he was going to score. On, oh, he has scored. I was confident he was going to score. It's down to this. I think I just have to save one. And then we go around again, don't we? So I'm winning this at the minute. I'm 2 1. At two. It's 2 2 with my penalty. Come on, Octavio. I'm not a religious man, but FM Gods. FM Gods! <laughs> penalty shoots out win. Come on! <laughs> Congrats, yeah. mate. Congrats. What a, what a game for the neutrals that was. Honestly, I feel you deserve it, so. Oh. Congratulations. Fantastic. That was a good, good game. That was well done, mate. That was. It's cruel that it ended on penalties, but fantastic. I'm happy that we finally scored an open play goal. You know what? Yeah. You're the real winner in this because of that. It's nice that your players have uh, finally listened to you. We missed a penalty. Fantastic for the neutrals. If you have enjoyed it, let us know down below. Who's your favourite player from this game and who who you think is going to win the next showdown as well. I've finally, well, I've gone into the lead now, 2-1, but it's been an absolute pleasure playing Lubo. Absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Even if I'm losing, I absolutely love it. Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> what a ride. Penalty shootout victory. Fantastic stuff. Especially the fact that we saved a penalty in that game as well during normal time. Wonderful stuff. Lubo is such a fantastic opponent to play against. There's something really thrilling about playing FM versus mode because you can play the computer, but playing against a real life human is totally different. And I'm really enjoying the challenge so far. We are 2 1 in the lead with the series so far. How have you liked the new stipulation of banning the player and also ensuring that a role is used within the formation as well? It was all Lubo's idea, but it seems to have come across very well in the video. If you've enjoyed this, please let me know down below. Hit the like button and subscribe. Go over and visit Zach Boolin's channel as well. It's a fantastic FM creator, and I'm really, really proud to be working with him on this series. But with 2-1 up, come on, I'll see you on the next episode.